the college basketball experience preview and picks episode for Friday, December 22nd on the sports gambling podcast network is brought to you by hall of fame bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props and game lines. Download the hall of fame bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use that promo code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. We're also brought to you by Game Time. Game Time tickets make the perfect holiday uh, gift. Sign up at gametime.co. Use that promo code CFBX for twenty dollars off. Gametime.co promo code CFBX. And remember, as always, folks, to let it ride. Hey, this is Pac Man Jones. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Oh, it must be a tough night. It must be a tough night for all those fucking losers <laughs> commenting. Yeah, you know, I appreciate them. And all the haters, they're, they're good. You're good. It's it's good to have people talking shit. I believe in that firsthand. Um, we're having a fire night. We're having a pretty fire night. I think I haven't consulted with my co-host, but I think we're doing pretty fucking good. Uh, if you're wondering who the hell you're listening to, my name is Colby Swinging Database Dad, aka Pick Don D. That's not a pick. This is a pick. He was raised in the land down under, where a man thinks on his feet, speaks with his fists, and lives by his wits. When Dundee happened, he was a superstar. And you're nothing but a chameleon, lemon-headed, coward, terrorist pussy. And I'm after you, buddy. You're going to pay for it. Good night. Oh, 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 oh. We got games. They've been on all day. It's been absolutely fucking glorious, if I may say so myself. I am joy. Hopefully you're watching youtube.com slash the college experience. Hopefully you're watching live. All right. You can see, you can see it all here. All right. Uh, I'm joined by my co-host. Give it up for former, former video coordinator for all of fame, coach Bob Huggins and Frank Martin, host of the big 12 college experience, host of the ride and rush show. Uh, give it up for Ryan McIntyre, AKA money Alon Mac. How you doing, man? Doing good, man. Just like yourself. I'm having a winning night. Obviously we got a, shitload more games since we're going a little bit earlier tonight, but you got the main show after and uh, yeah, let's get ahead of these lines. Cause Friday's another good one with day basketball. Can't beat that man. Oh man. It's a beautiful slate. I think I'm going to my, going to a game tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be alive. All right. Cause we started off things with a motherfucking bang fucking fucking sacred hot. Fucking sacred hot never disappoints. Let me tell you, they never disappoint. 67, 57 against fucking Dartmouth. We knew this game stunk. We were all over it. Easy yeah. cash. Why did you not bet this game? Why would you not bet this game? All right. I don't know. Hey, hey maybe that one guy that said we're hitting at eight percent uh bet the other side. So hey, he's he's hitting about eight percent today because the locks are flowing, baby. Yeah. Check the picks page for the real eight percent. So you know what's funny is we have we have something that ca- that actually keeps track of everything. I'd understand it if you had just you know you see us drinking alcohol. If you just think we're just making picks, you know, who's keeping track? Oh, oh, we have this this company that keeps track of ours. Hmm, interesting. Which you could find out on the SGPN app or sportsgamblingpodcast dot com. But Thank no. God they do, because I know yeah. me and you couldn't keep track of all these fucking picks. <laughs> True, but back in the day, we first started this shit like five, six years ago. We were doing a fucking Excel spreadsheet, and I'm just oh, yeah. glad we have a company handling this shit. So, yeah, uh, yeah. 
I'm glad I don't have to do that anymore. We used to, to go through and grade that shit. That was tough. Carry the one. Yeah. That was tough, man. <laughs> uh, Sacred Heart, though, just pff, come on. This is what they do. They were down one at the half. They got that BDE, that holiday energy. <laughs> and uh, boom, let's go. They got it done. Uh, moving along to the next one. Now we did pick this game incorrectly. We didn't bet this game. See folks, there's a difference. When we say we bet this or we lock this, that means we actually are betting this. If we just pick the game, it's just a pick. It's useless. You're just picking it because maybe you have a side on it and we like to talk shit about our records. All right. Uh, Fordham loses outright to the real blue devils. We Where both from. <laughs> yeah. What in the fuck? 82, 80 tough loss for the Rams. Uh, your thoughts. I mean, Fordham had been playing pretty good basketball headed into this game. I know they lost to St. John's, but they just beat North Texas. I, we see it, man, all the time with these games right before Christmas. It's a shit show. You don't know who's sick it about their family, their girlfriend that they're going to go see, the food they're going to eat, the presents, whatever. I don't know what the fuck these kids are thinking about. But it, it's it's kind of a crapshoot, this final game before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but we just happen to be on fire at this crapshoot. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We can identify who's going to, who's going to be looking ahead to scattered ass over the Christmas break. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the next one, I think you guys might've had a little battle on Eastern Michigan, 72 Peter Hampton, 69. Dang. <laughs> Hi. I probably was, I was lucky hook. on this one. I was lucky on this one. I, I can admit when I was lucky, no one probably had the right side here. EMU had a 12 point lead at the half. Yeah. And they blow it. Moneyline Mac coming up with a dub. You had a couple of battle wins tonight, huh? It's feeling good over there. I can tell the difference. Last night, he was. Last (laughs) night after Radford hit that game winner, you you know, off air, I feel like he was in the blues. He was having the blues a little bit. I said, dude, I'm going to send you this, uh, this, this MP3. He's like, yeah, man, I'll be up. I'll be up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I got the to truth. figure out. I got, I mean, you I got guys, things to figure out. I you guys thought I, I got another beer calling my name. Yeah, I'll tell you what. You guys <laughs> thought I drank a lot on the show last night. You should have seen me after the show. I was fucking blacked out by like six a.m. Working Noah hours. I don't know how I woke up. I'm not gonna lie, but here I am. <laughs> New day. There we go. I was, what I was, was down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it happens. Been there. Oh, yeah. Been there. I'll be there again. You know. Uh, next up, I hope you get the picks page because I bet the hell out of this game, locked it up on the picks page, bet the hell out of it, Manhattan. When I saw this line at 10, I said, get the fuck out of here. The Jaspers cover against Monmouth and only lose by six. I mean, it's a free show guys. Just letting you know it's a free fucking show. You know what I mean? If you want to talk shit, I would understand people talking shit. If we weren't, if we were charging, I would get it. Like I a hundred percent would be like, yeah, yeah. But it's a free show. It's a free show. Got my Christmas sweater on and everything available in the SGPN merch store, by the way. Uh, yeah. What'd you make of this game? Yeah. It's, it's hard to lay that many points with mom. It's good. Good cover by Manhattan. That's a good game. Yeah. We were both on the right side of UT Arlington and the points in Lubbock, even though we didn't bet it. They only lost by 11. Good cover for the Mavericks. Your thoughts on your red Raiders heading into Christmas break. Solid. Uh, I mean, they're in position to be in position as they say, to get to the tournament. They're nine and two, no bad losses. They need, they need some, they need some marquee wins though. I mean, their best win is Michigan. So they need to they need to bolster up that resume, but they're in the Big Twelve, so plenty of opportunities. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, I'm glad you swayed me on this one, even though I didn't bet this. <laughs> you guys swayed me on this one. It's Steve Alford, Navy. Well, no, oh, that yeah. one's coming. That one's coming. <laughs> Navy covers by a half a point against them Youngstown State Penguins. I didn't bet it, but I, I I still try to hit every game accurately. Yeah. You swayed me on this. My first reaction, I was like, I'm gonna lay with the Youngstown. Then I was like, after you talked, made your points, I said, All right, maybe you're right. Give me give me the midshipman. But uh they somehow cover. 
I mean, they were, it was like a five point game at halftime. Memory serves me correct, but nice win there for, uh, for, for you. Did you bet this? I did. Um, although on the picks page, it said I did not, but I actually did put my money down. So uh, yeah, I mean, good cover by Navy young sounds, young sounds rolling along, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Virgil gave us $2 in the chat. There you go. I always, I always thought you were better than million dollar man. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking that was back when the WWF was racist as shit. Just have fucking he is very, he's a fucking servant. What the f- he is a black servant. What the fuck? The old school WWF just iron chic. When you really think about it, you know, they had, they were, they were way ahead. Like I was blind to it all. Pretty racist shit going on there, but there was Ric Flair uh, amongst all of that. And it kind of gives it a pass, but shout out to Virgil for giving us two bucks. Uh, Holy cross. I told you we should have bet this shit. I'm so mad that I didn't bet this shit. Harvard barely won this fucking game. We were burnt. We were hurt from the other day. We were pissed. 74, <laughs> 72 Harvard fucking escapes. I knew it was a, a little brother angle. Noah, I knew this. It happened in football. It could happen in basketball. Damn it. I'm so mad. I didn't bet this. Uh, you know why the line smelled? Malik Mack has mono. Mono. Yeah, so he'll be out for. Uh, th- they said, definitely. so they're without their best player for a while here. That's Thank God it's like over the holidays and they're able to get like the Christmas break. I don't uh, know. I don't want to. But... He could be getting scattered ass, and now he's got to sit there play fucking video games or something. What is it? What do you even do? <laughs> I don't even know. Like uh, you, you, know. you hit it. You hit it on the park there. It's probably video games. Although Who he is the a hell gets mono. <laughs> Harvard. Yeah. Who knows what the fuck they're doing up there? That yeah. fucking filthy university. So yeah, Malik Mack, I mean Harvard's best player. They'll be without him for at least a month. That's Damn. a big loss. He needs to go to Europe and get some injections. <laughs> Say it. That FDA bullshit here in America. They need to go. He needs to go elsewhere. I'm surprised the Ivy's not trying to cancel the season over Mono now. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking pussies. <laughs> they were, oh, that was my favorite preview episode we did. Go, uh, folks, you should go back and listen to the co- So we did conference previews for every conference on the college basketball experience during COVID. And I still released a uh, an Ivy League preview where it was about one minute long where I just opened it up. And I go, yeah, I mean, let me preview the Ivy League. Uh, what I see is a bunch of pussies for not <laughs> playing fucking basketball you pieces of shit. And then well, it was the end of the episode. <laughs> it's out there though. In the universe, it is out there. I need to go um, find that. It's great. <laughs> Fuck the Ivy League. Such bullshit that year. Uh, Alcorn state covered for us. I felt bad for CJ Sullivan. He was in here doing the morning show with me. And uh, he's like, dude, I'm sweating out George Washington. What do you think of my bet? And I was like, yeah, we're on, we're on Alcorn state. <laughs> But fuck, uh, the, fuck the colonials or whatever the fuck they're called, revolutionaries. <laughs> <laughs> Clark's Clark's cracking me up right here. He's referencing. Uh, he goes, someone done gone throw threw away a perfectly good white boy. He's referring <laughs> to the movie Men at Work, which I'm yes. catching this reference <laughs> with. Uh, is it Keith David or David Keith? I always forget. It's two it's two first names. Great fucking actor. He was in something about Mary. He was also in Platoon. Uh, yeah, great, great, great line, Clark. I feel I, I don't know Clark, but damn it, I, at some point we got to grab a beer because I he's right up my alley. Uh, Quinnipiac. Well, we lost money here. Lafayette only scored sixty points, and the Aqua Duck was on fucking fire. The Aqua Duck is is here's what I hate about the Aqua Duck. You can never, you can never put them on auto fade. I know. There's times where you want to. And they'll have a moment like this where they step up and they look good. And you go, Hey, I'm going to bet them next week or next game. And then they look like shit the next game. And I've had this problem with the aqua duck for three or four years. I feel like, but uh nice win there is we lose money. How about what this? If I play? Told you they're nine and three Quinnipiac's nine and three. How, How the fuck is that even possible? 
I think they suck. And then I look today and go <laughs> nine and three. I go what? Oh, we got unbelievable them in MAAC. Unbelievable. How about this play? I dub incarnate word outright. <laughs> um, I, dude, we knew this line was ridiculous against USC. They win it outright. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. What are they? The Flames? Yeah, it's a big time win. What'd you make of this one? I mean, yeah, Illinois Chicago has dropped a couple bad games here at home. Lost to Green Bay at home and Incarnate Word. They had some momentum, but it's gone now. Good win, Ida. Let's go. Yeah, and then Steve Alford. Hey, Easy. he might get a Christmas card now from Dundee. <laughs> Let's go. Had this game on here at the studio doing content. Boom. Never, never even fucking sweat. It's a free show, guys. Just giving you fire. A lot of fire out there. We also picked Jacksonville State against Little Rock. They won by 30. We didn't bet oh. this, but if you still listen to us, oh, I'm sorry, I don't play this music because that, that was not a bet. But still fucking dominating performance. Little Cock is the worst. They're back to being what I thought they were. You want to crown them? You crown them. To quote yeah. the great Dennis Green. Uh, That's a hell of a week for Jack play. State now. Jack State won at Tarleton and at Little Cock. That's a good week for the Gamecocks. Yeah, yeah Gamecocks and Little Cock. Here we go. A lot of cocks <laughs> flying around here. <laughs> there, there was one cock that was bigger, uh, and it was by thirty points. Um, <laughs> Presbyterian. Yeah, I know you bet this. Fucking Tough times. Fucking Tough bullshit. time with them blue hoes. They what happened like here? I didn't watch. I didn't watch yeah, this game. They, they were winning uh, for a little bit of the first half, down four, and then they lose by the hook. <laughs> it's so brutal. So sometimes, man, those dogs they just run out of gas. No, what's your take? Uh, I was just hopping in here. A lot of people had Nevada. Shout out to the Wolfpack. Yeah, backers. yeah, that was a good and play. There goes Beanick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you lost money on Pres or Wake Forest Presbyterian, but how about this play? And you know, if you're sharps like us, we said play this on the fucking money line. Northern Colorado Air Force, get the fuck out of here! Had to watch this on the Mountain West app on the, one of the TVs. Northern Colorado, eight and a half point dogs. They went out right. It was the Dukes. It was the Dukes. I mean, it was the Bears. The Bears. Uh, quoting the great Trading Places movie. It's Christmas time. Go watch that movie. Uh, dude, how easy was that fucking handicap? We're, f yeah. We should, yeah. I, Do they? You can't lay that many points at the Air Force. Like, <laughs> Air Force is not that good. Do you think that there's a part of uh, the space station that is going to be set aside for us with how <laughs> genius we are? <laughs> Potentially. I'm saying, yeah, it's in the works. Let's go. What up, Colby? In the chat, he goes, It was painful to watch Colby pick Dundee ride with Nevada yesterday. It was painful, it was painful to take, very painful to take. But now I'm looking at my, uh, my, my, yeah, my <laughs> bank account, and I'm thinking I'm looking at real estate in Reno, might have to make a trip back there. Uh, let's move along because Virginia tech, the Hokies won by 22 against American. They, I did pick this incorrectly. I didn't bet this, but pick this incorrectly. Your thoughts on this one. Well, who'd you take in this one? Um, I took American, so I picked it incorrectly as well. I thought, thought the number was right on, but, uh, Virginia tech nine and three head into ACC play. We'll see what happens. They, uh, they could be in position to get in that large. Maybe if they do some damage. Yeah. Well, we didn't bet this, but we should have because we called for a 10 point dog to cover and potentially win. I think we did. At least I did. I took them in the points. At least North Carolina, a and T 85 coastal Carolina, 82. Let's go. What a win. That's a huge win, dude. They they've actually been playing better. I know that we shit on them for a while there, but they won two out of three Texas Southern and coastal. Coastal's bad, man. That's a bad team. Their football yeah. coach is taking pictures with uh, the cheerleaders. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> Can't blame them. That every coach would be wise enough to do that. Remember uh, Larry Astoria for uh, Iowa State? Stacy? Yeah. Stacy. What did I say? Yeah, Astoria. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Larry Stacy. 
He got drunk as fuck at those uh he's got like a, parties. Yeah, he's drinking beers with like a bunch of twenty two year olds. He's got, that was, he's got, he's got that a was the Coastal Carolina dance team, by the way. Respect the dance teams out there. <laughs> yeah, What's the it. problem with that? I mean, they're over 21. Right? I can't take a picture with them. I don't they, get it. I don't get it. They support the school. They're paying money. They wanna, if they want to invite coach over, then damn it, you should be able to come over. It's in fucking America last time I checked. If you could die for your country at 21, you should be able to invite the fucking coach of Iowa State over for cocktails and perhaps some herbal essence. Well, the only thing is the context of that story. He didn't fly back with the team. He, <laughs> he, so he stayed there to fucking fucking stay with the, the fraternity party. So look, sometimes yeah. sometimes someone makes a strong ass offer to quote the great Will where Will Wade. All right. And he got you know. That's what Urban Meyer said too. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed in Dublin. Yeah. Urban Meyer, I was on board with, and then you had the murder cover up and I was like, well, you know, it's almost like the New Mexico state logic where you're just like, look, I understand it's bad that he's doing, but like, yeah. if you want me to send my kids there, I know he's got your back. Yeah. You, don't doubt. you know what I mean? <laughs> there is, there is a thing called loyalty out there, you yeah. know, shout out to Robert. Appreciate you, Robert. He gave us 10 bucks. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, we're very grateful. Happy holidays, man. Robert, to you, your family, and, and everyone out there in the chat. You know? Uh, we locked up Niagara Falls. Boom. Oh. Hi. How are you? Once again, the show's free. Um easy play. Syracuse actually packed that gym more than I thought they would. That was when I was watching that. I was like, huh? Uh, however, we lost this one and I, I want to throw a flag on the play here. Cause I don't feel like, I think I, I feel like the world should give us a break on this one. As I put Luigi back up on this fucking thing. Uh, Jeff Jones had a heart attack before the game. Yeah. Old dominion does not cover against TCU. I lose a hundred dollars, but how could I forecast that the fucking head coach has a heart attack right before the fucking game? I, I, I you know, I, I understand it could, some, some could say it's a smash spot. They'll get up and play for their players or for their coach. I don't know, man. You see some shit like that in life. And you're, I don't know that you're really thinking about basketball. If you see someone that you care about have a heart attack. Yeah. No, I don't know that I'd be work. ready for that. It yeah. could work both ways. Uh, probably, like you said, the other way. Um, also, this was like a six-point game at half. TCU just completely unloaded in the second half. So you wonder where ODU's heads were at in the in the second half with, with their coach going down with the heart attack. Hopefully, Jeff Jones is all right. It sounds like he's going to be okay. So just glad he's he's still here, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying from a bet, they should. I think I feel like all bets should have been voided. How can you forecast a head coach yeah. – having a fucking heart attack, you know, and, anyway. and he's a good coach too. I mean, we love yeah. Jeff Jones. Yeah. Uh, so I did, we did not hit there. Uh, and you were foolish enough to bet this. I told you I would not bet this. You swayed me off locking Kentucky, but I still didn't bet it either way. But why the fuck did I not bet? I'm mad at you guys. I'm <laughs> mad at you guys. I was ready to lock Kentucky on last night's show. And you guys talked me off that wall. Uh, Kentucky 95, Louisville 76, Kenny Payne. He's done. I, I, you know what's funny is I noticed Danny Manning was on a staff. I forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah. That guy just goes everywhere and gets fired. He was at Maryland for a year, fired. <laughs> Wake Forest, Terrible. fired. Everywhere it's like, where can I go for six months? <laughs> Collect the paycheck and move along. Um, dude, this was. I actually thought after like the first half, I was like, watch Louisville cover this. Maybe he's on to something. No, Kentucky blew him out in the second half. What'd you make of this game? Uh, yeah, the first 10 minutes, I was like, oh, yeah, Louisville's going to be right here for this game. But uh, Kentucky's playing well. The first top 10 team to finally cover a game on the road. So I mean, that, was, I, that was like a 50 50 crowd. I know, but like it, I can't pick and choose everything, so I will I will notch notch this up to the crowd that likes betting top ten teams on the road covering big numbers. You got you got your win here. Um, 
yeah, Louisville's got awful. I can't pick a Louisville game right. They're so I picked against them the one time, then they blew up Pepperdine. Uh, Kenny Payne's got to go. That was embarrassing. To them. Shout out to Steve Stevenson who DM'd me earlier, like I think 24 hours ago, and I was like, oh, give me Kentucky all day. They're gonna fuck up Louisville. Then he heard the show and he goes, dude. What happened? You didn't take you didn't take Kentucky. I go, oh, they swayed me off, and I saw the, the betting splits, and I yeah, I backed away. My bad. It was public as hell. Yeah. Uh, Cleveland State covered against Western Michigan. We should have bet these games, man. Should have bet them. Uh, Vikings get it done. Western Michigan's ass. All these Michigan schools suck ass. Uh. Facts. What number did you get Lehigh Boston College at? Seventeen. <laughs> okay, you got the you got the cover by a point. Yeah, that was got a the cover by a point. Oh, you <laughs> locked that too. You you were, you is a crazy bastard. Um, <laughs> Adam all the way. <laughs> <laughs> they were down what twenty two at one point. Yeah, something around there. Got, yeah. They, they got punched in the mouth. They go, well, this fucking game's over. But hey, they <laughs> battled. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's all you could ask for. Uh, we took New Orleans in the points. That was stupid. We didn't bet it. Yeah. We didn't bet it. But they only scored thirty six points against Ohio State. Wow. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that's bad. Uh, also, we did lose money on Rhode Island. I'm not betting Rhode, Rhode, Rhode Island's on the auto fade list now. New Hampshire eighty one, Rhode Island seventy one. That was a dumb play by us. Yeah, I I didn't get eyes on this. So I was score watching, and I don't know what happened late in the first half. Rhode Island had the lead, and then all of a sudden, New Hampshire must have won like a 15-0 run or something. Rhode Island sucks. Um, bad play. <laughs> Terrible play. <laughs> well, I took Gardner Webb. Locked that up. I think you joined me on this. I and joined you. The Easy. only complaint I'll have if we're in the circle of trust here. I put a hundred dollars on Gardner Webb and I put fifty on them on the money line. And god damn it, they should have won this game. Yeah. They they've had their heart broken the past two games. This Gardner Webb team is good. Yep. They lose in overtime 94-90. Damn. I, I mean I made money, but I could have made more money. It was right there for us. Uh what'd you make of this game, man? Yeah, Gardner Webb. I mean, wait, they're five and nine. They're they got to be the best five and nine team in the country. They have lost heartbreaker after heartbreaker. They should have won at Queens too. That was a heartbreaker. Should have beat Yale. Um, all their games are close. So I like I like this Gardner Webb team headed into the Big South. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're a good team, man. Oh yeah, they are a good team. Um, well, Michigan State. We took Stony Brook plus twenty three and a half. Uh, we didn't bet it, but fuck Michigan state. Hey, Noah, can we give them the national championship now? Or do you want to wait until, until March? Oh, yeah, I, I guess so. Michigan state, they get the national championship here. December 21st. Just give them the title right now. What's the record? <laughs> Six and five. Congratulations. Sparty. Uh, Honestly, the, the other they're thing, playing good ball right now, man, dude, they're playing great ball. Like I, I'm not, a Sparty hater. I had them in my final four last year as a prediction. They got to the sweet 16. I was maybe too high on them. Uh, all I'm saying is like uh, at the end of this game, Barry Sanders son is a bench warmer for Michigan state basketball. He got it. He got onto the floor and he drained a three CBS sports needed to put out a clip. Cause obviously that's going to garner some attention and they worded it. Barry Sanders son hits the dagger three with a minute to go. <laughs> Usually when I use the term dagger, you're up by one, not 41. <laughs> no one gets mad about the littlest things. It's great. <laughs> um, Yeah, he is funny. Uh, mo- but moving along, Jacksonville did not cover the 32 and a half. They actually uh, lost by 43. Glad we didn't bet. I mean, I, I didn't. We never considered betting this because I'm. I've. I've wrote them off. They don't exist to me. Uh, except for McCray's dad, of course, who listens to the show. Shout out to him. And he did go for twenty two. It's not his fault. Uh, Purdue. They look really good again. What'd you make? Yeah. Purdue. I mean, they beat up on the average mid major. So good win for the Boilermakers. Headed into uh, Christmas. 
Circle of trust. Uh, we were dominating for the most part this morning. I think I started out like five and one, something like that. Okay. Chronologically, some of those games ended differently, but uh, different times because it went to overtime. So I decided to throw a little money on these Tarleton State squad getting a bunch of points in Knoxville. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> Cover that one. Uh, you went with Tennessee, didn't you? I did, but I didn't bet it. Yeah. Well, you did bet this and you want a lock battle win against me. Fuck you, buddy. All right. Uh, because Charleston 89, St. Joe's 82, you filthy, filthy whores. Uh, I gotta be honest though. Good game. This game was, yeah, but I feel like Charleston was a better team the whole game. I wish I could say some shit like, oh, they came back. No, I feel like Charleston was better the entire game. So there's your flowers, buddy. You're the best. I'm the worst. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, this is a good, I mean, like you said, man, they're, they're really fucking good at home and you know what? Their crowd showed up. That place was lit again tonight, even during a uh, Christmas break. Yeah. Charleston needs to start a football program right no there. Doubt. You, yeah. With that city right there. Oh my God. Could you imagine? Yeah. No, they need all to the get people, going. there's just people drunk all the fucking time. Every time I've been to Charleston, I've been sober for, I have not, I've never been sober in Charleston. It's like the perfect football and alcohol go hand in hand folks. In case I you didn't know. Place. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I lost money there. Fairfield took down fair Dick. I was on this one. We hit shout out to fair to, to Fairfield. Fairfield's not bad this year, man. I've watched I them a couple times. I can't wait for uh, MAAC Friday nights. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> they're, 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 they're coming. They're coming soon. Uh, nice call on Colorado. You took Colorado. I took Utah tech. I mean, we didn't bet this game, but yeah, nice win for the buffs. KJ OJ Simpson's son went for 23 and six and six. Uh, was surprised UCF barely, uh, well, not barely, but in terms of Florida A and M, this is like the closest Florida A and M's kept it with somebody in a long Ever. time at basketball. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, UCF only wins by 13. They, they win and move along. And then Noah Beanick locked up Abilene Christian plus 15 against the Razorbacks of Arkansas. They almost gave this away. They're up seven and a half. Yeah. Nice play there. There you go. Beanick. Oregon state drilled Idaho state. Maybe we were foolish for taking them. We didn't bet it, but I'm saying we took the points in Idaho state. I was on the right side of the airport taking down the main black bears. I forget what you took in this game. Who'd you take? I think the airport, but I don't even remember. I I was not betting the cocaine bears in airport. Yeah. Yeah. Of course not. Uh, Wilmington beat Marshall. We didn't bet this game, but that was Wilmington. I, I thought the line smelled. So I went Marshall, but the Wilmington can play. They're good. They're a Wilmington good team. Very good. Yeah. Uh, you locked up the Buffalo Bulls. They only lose by six. I should have joined you. I should have joined you. I picked it correctly. Yeah. I just didn't jump on it. Too many points for Richmond to lay. Yeah. Yeah. But we hit on this. There's a team out there that's magical. They're like a fucking Lucky Charms commercial. Just leaving marshmallows behind them, looking for the fucking jackpot. And that is the Lemoyne Dolphins <laughs> covering the big number. This team's magical, man. Where the hell is my clip? I can't find it. Damn it. Here. Dan Marino and his uh, really dynamic wife. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's not what I was looking for, but Dan Marino's <laughs> wife's apparently really attractive. Um, <laughs> Lemoyne covers for us. <laughs> uh, you know, that's one of my favorite George Bush clips ever is he's describing the night before. He was like, I hung out. I was eating oysters and clams. He's like talking. He's at like a, a, a podium and he's just talking. He's in like Miami and he's like, I hung out. I was eating oysters and clams with the 72 Miami dolphins. It was a fantastic evening. Andy Garcia was there. <laughs> and then he goes, he like hesitates for a minute. And he goes, Dan Marino and his dynamic wife was there. 
Dude, if you're Dan Marino, you're like, hey, motherfucker, what the fuck are you talking about here? <laughs> Dynamic. I don't give a, give a, a shit who way. you're the president of. <laughs> That's a hell of a way to describe an attractive woman. Dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely hilarious, man. <laughs> fucking George Bush's wife's just sitting there in the fucking crowd. Oh, okay. Never he never calls me dynamic. Um anyway. <laughs> uh Colgate got drilled by Iona. That I did not see. Didn't bet that yeah. game, but Iona wins by 20. What in the hell? Tobin Anderson, baby. <laughs> they used the toothpaste today. Yeah, seriously. Um I hopefully hopefully you get the SGPN app and the picks page because guess who loaded up when the night uh overnight this line crept up. So you're goddamn right I bet on South Carolina upstate getting 15. They almost won this game outright. Thank God they missed a three with like 10 seconds off because I was like, am I gonna lose this in overtime? Let's go. Shout out to B Mac. I told a buddy I was uh, sweating Lemoyne. He gave me the eight 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 number. Yeah. <laughs> well, guess what? Hey. You got you got some extra uh, spending money for Christmas. Don't buy that piece of shit a drink. All right. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Shout out to Nikki G. But, but really. <laughs> yeah, but really, I mean, come on. What are you doing? Lemoyne's a fucking cash machine. What, you, you, that guy's probably throwing money in stocks. What the fuck are this? What is the stock market? It's like legalized gambling. All right. Don't worry. Lemoyne is like. Apple in 83. You know what I mean? Just get your money in. Get your money in all those dolphins. Yeah. And, and, and LI use like Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> it 100%. Um, you know what you're getting, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pepperdine did drill William and Mary. I took, I didn't, we didn't bet this game, but we took, I took the points in Bill and Mary. They suck. Uh, your thoughts on that one? Yeah, I mean, Bill, Bill and Mary, they're so up and down. Um, I can't figure them out this year. Like you said, to get drilled by Pepperdine, we we just, we just labeled Pepperdine a dead team last week when they lost to Louisville by 30. So that's a bad loss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you locked up Texas Southern. You ate a big old steaming pile of shit there because Sanford destroyed them. I got greedy. They came through okay. for me last weekend. And I was like, I'm going back to my boys. And no, uh, didn't happen here tonight. Hey, Steve Stevenson just gave us $20. Consider me your Kentucky Sharp. It's okay. You get one free pass. Just don't put Kentucky back in your top 25, <laughs> Mac. Or we would lose to Illinois State at home. Shout out to Steve. Hey, Steve, we appreciate that, man. And happy holidays to you and your family, man. And uh, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holidays and a happy new year, man. We appreciate you listening to us. I know we talk a lot of shit, but I mean, yeah, look at that. That's that's he publishes that shit all the time. That's the uh, one, yeah, yeah. Fuck Kentucky. Good win. <laughs> Marcus Reed, uh, shout out to Marcus Reed in the chat. We appreciate you, Marcus. He says, I have the app, but how do I find the picks page? You just simply go to college basketball picks. It should be on if you click NCAA basketball, uh, it should go to college basketball picks, if memory serves me correct. Uh, and then you'll see all of our picks. That's the picks page. Also, Noah Bina, can you throw that uh, link in the in the chat for everybody? Uh, yeah, we appreciate you guys. And um, shout out to that that page. They they've really put some nice upgrades on that recently. That's what happens. Yeah, they realize. Well, <laughs> the they winners. realize. Well, yeah. They realize that we're kind of fucking awesome. You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, SG, SGPN and uh, I'm I speak of SGPN, but TCE included. You know, we kind of kind of kick ass, so they realize, hey, maybe we should listen to these guys. We started out in a garage, fucking t- in 2011. Used to have to push a lawnmower out of the fucking way, and now look at us. We got a studio. I got fucking Luigi here. Look at me now. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm a millionaire, or I wouldn't be talking to you guys, but you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. Uh, you get my point. Yeah. We've been, we've been, we've been doing okay. All right. Doing okay. Yeah. Uh, Noah Phoenix, show yourself. Where's he at? Detroit sucks, dude. I hate them. 
I hate them and I keep betting them. Even uh, I saw Rob bet them and I think Hoops Peterson bet them. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. We triple locked them and two of our good friends are on them. I go, this is going to, this is, this has to end bad. Dude, it was like a two point game with eight minutes and they still don't cover. I hate this. Dude, dude, it was a two point game with eight minutes. How about me and CJ watching this here in the studio? And I'm like, CJ, we got it down to, we, we got it down to, to 10, right? It's at 10. Or actually, no, I think it was at eight. With like, and in one minute, like one minute, I went to come in here, like our studio, all the TVs right outside there. I went in here to grab my uh, computer cord, right? I come back out and they're down 18. I'm like, how the <laughs> fuck is that possible? I'm talking maybe 30 seconds, 30 seconds. They suck ass. I hate this team. Mike Davis. I don't know how he ever rough. got fucking Indiana to a national championship, but his yeah. days. Louisville should fucking hire him though. Uh, Detroit basketball all time low. They were favored to beat the Jazz too tonight, and they lost. So. Yes, yeah, <laughs> TJ was on that one too. Uh, I might, I might need to watch the NBA just to watch these Pistons play. For what everybody's telling me about, dude, they're I mean, they're the game. I mean, I don't even know if I should even say this on the show, but they're college all star team, and they suck. <laughs> it's it's terrible. Well, yeah, like, I actually thought this like team November would be 6th. good. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's, you you got Cade Cunningham on this team. You got uh, Marcus Sasser from Houston on the team. Jaden Ivy. They suck. Yeah. This hey, is no. what happens, Detroit. When the Lions are good, they suck out all the luck of the other teams, and they're like, yes. "You get the Lions one every fifty years. It's, Enjoy it. The rest of your teams will not win a single game." <laughs> It's a sacrifice. Yeah. It's a sacrifice that needs to be made for the football team to be good. The rest of the three, you need to suck ass. You're still going to lose in the first round, just so you know. Yeah, if Matt Stafford comes back. I mean, that's just an absolute nightmare scenario. I can't for wait. Every Detroit sports fan. Uh, the curse of Bobby Lane is real, buddy. <laughs> just a few books on it. Check it out. Um, well, we are speaking of us being geniuses here. Uh, the Bulldogs of UNC Asheville. Oh, finally. We gave it away on the money line. Hi. 13 point win at App State. I have a lot of money in my bank account today. This Your thoughts on, on, on us dominating, dominating uh, life. I mean, App State, they've been my thorn in my side. They were due for one of these. Uh, they got they got, they got, got their ass kicked. I mean, they were down like 22 in the first half. Asheville took the fight to them. Great win for the Bulldogs. This is definitely game ball worthy. Damn, Brian Sanders thought he bet this. That happened to me yesterday when I thought I bet a game and I didn't. <laughs> that, can, that, can, that can get you. That can get you. Oh, yeah. uh, I know we didn't have this line on this game last night, but Norfolk State drilled South Dakota State. Woo! They're good. Give them their respect, buddy. I, I like this Norfolk State team. Shit. I yeah. might move down there. Yeah, some of the chat last night were saying that Norfolk State would never win a game the rest of the season. I was like, no, nah, they're like eight and like what? four. I, I good. Know, having a good State. season. That, yeah, I mean, good. I, the Jackrabbits are probably the NCAA tournament team out of the Summit League, too. That's a very good one. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Hey, shout out to the chat. Happy holidays from Playa del Carmen. Look, I, I, uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name, man, but I appreciate you. And, uh, and I know you've been rocking with us for a few years because I remember the photo of, it looks like the Mayan, uh, temples or something there. I could be full of shit, but, uh, I think, I think that's it. We appreciate you, man. And I need to get to Playa del Carmen because I was dumb enough to go to Cancun once when I was 18. And all I did was stay at the fucking resort, like a true American fucking idiot. And not even appreciate all the good shit around me. But I was 18. So, you know, it happens. Young and uh, dumb. Yeah. Uh, shout out to you, though. I appreciate that. Um, moving along. Eastern Kentucky got smacked. Uh, not smacked. We got beat by Troy. I would have picked that game incorrectly had you told me to bet on it. Like, had I been forced to bet on it, I wasn't ever thinking of betting it. But you know what I mean. Nice win for Troy. Simo got drilled by Illinois State. We got that pick wrong. We didn't bet it, but we got it wrong. 
And shout out to you for the Army Black Knights going into San Antonio. Army. Get a 10 point win. How's that even possible? UTSA might be really fucking bad because they're fucking how's awful. How's that possible? Yeah, I've watched it multiple times. They're bad. Army, lock it up, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you cashed on that. <laughs> All right. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Uh, I think on the show he did call for the money line too. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> army, baby. Did. Yeah, I think he did. <laughs> You're right, American. Look at this UTSA out of here. <laughs> but he did try to sell me on this one here, which it did not hit. He tried to sell me on Alabama A and M. No, no, no. <sighs> All right, this this wasn't a horrible one. Like they, <laughs> they were, they were, they were in the game the entire way. It's just South Alabama got it across at the end. So um, I think they were down four at half. Yeah. So it is what it is. Houston drilled Texas state only scored 37 points. Holy shit. Uh, Houston wins by what? 35 or some shit like that. Uh, wow. West Virginia opens with Houston to start big 12 play at Houston. <laughs> Oh my god, dude! I was thinking about your West Virginia angle too, because Toledo got drilled yesterday, and I'm like, watch Toledo's gonna fuck them up now too. I hope not. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully not. Uh, Bradley did not cover. No, this was a, was this a push. No, they did not cover by a half a point uh, against SIU. Didn't bet that, but uh, Noah Beanick C- paging Noah Beanick for cleanup on aisle four. Uh, you did something crazy yesterday. I respect you did something it. very crazy. I, I Mac respects it. I, me knowing the way Idaho basketball has been over the past decade, I thought it was crazy. It was very Mississippi Valley State like. But you decided to place a large wager on the Vandals against UC Riverside, and Mac decided to bet against bet against you, and he hit, and I should have joined him. I, I picked this correctly and, and shout out to Riverside Riverside's coach has, if you've watched, if go watch their first week in November and go watch them today, they're so much better. Yeah. Uh, Riverside wins by 15. Noah, you lose a lock battle to Mac with Idaho. And, <laughs> yeah. I'm super pissed because the Vandals were winning this game for a, a good chunk of it until the, the final 13 minutes, Idaho scored 15 total points. And it went bye bye. Sounds like <laughs> Detroit. Sounds like fucking yeah. Detroit. <laughs> Fuck. yeah. Our Detroit and in, in, in Idaho teams, the same team. Oh. Uh, nice win for you there. Riverside's playing a lot better, man. Uh, yeah. No, 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I was going to get this. They were back to back. Northern Iowa. This was an ass kicking. <laughs> we might have had a f- five minute conversation about you, Noah, locking up uh, me and TJ Sullivan and Ryan Kramer about uh, you locking up Northern Illinois because the Panthers. Why? Because the Huskies were on a roll for us early in the season. I, I just feel like you and I is on a different level than Northern Illinois as a program. You know, this is a team that's been the Sweet 16s on, under that coach. You know, like this is a team that's Jacobson. good. Yeah, it's a good program, man. Uh, what'd you make of this game? This is another lock battle, wasn't it? Oh, I don't even remember if it was a lock battle. I just know I, they. I got think their Mac ass locked it up. I think Mac locked it up. I didn't this, do this. This game was a true ass kicking. The Idaho game, I felt like I had a good handicap there in that one. Just got stripped away in the final minutes, but I don't know. This one was bad. Bad L. Well, stay here. Yeah, because this one, this one won, and you guys doubted me. On yes, this one too. yes, we <laughs> doubted you on this one. Ball State loses by seventeen. You fucking pieces of absolute shit. I hate, them, I hate them. I hate them, dude. They are rolling. I think they're like, there's something like uh, nine and three against the spread. It's crazy. Yeah, they beat all the mid majors and they run up the score at the they end do. because they know they're about to get their fucking ass kicked in Big Ten play. Fucking hate. Uh, nice, the way, nice, nice I, luck battle win. Thank you. I, I handicapped this one. This was part of the uh, underdog uh, article that I wrote too. Because Carrington's out, Mike Mitchell stepping in. 
I'm Chad. sorry. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mike Mitchell stepped in, and he was Minnesota's leading scorer. Uh, and he Carrington was starting over him. The last four games, he had hit the number that it was set at, and this this time he scores twenty. I mean, the season high he had was thirteen. So, all Michael Huffer, that. Michael Huffer, the great point though, Ball State alum here, and uh, hey, uh, they suck on the road. He says, and that's fair. That's fair. Bad play by me. Uh, I was on Miami minus twenty nine against Stonehill, and they covered. Stonehill sucks. Graveyard. They're so bad. <laughs> They're so fucking bad. Yeah. Uh, also, Iowa State covered against EIU. How about they that? Kill they kill everybody. And we had Indiana, North Alabama. I believe the Hoosiers covered. They won by 17. I think what was that line? 15 and a half. So they got a nice cover there. We are still sweating out a few games. Uh, currently, K State has a nine point lead on Wichita State. Currently, needed Fra- that. yeah, Frank Martin has a six point lead on Georgia Tech, but a whole second half left. Uh, also we did bet Kent state plus six. They are currently down 10 in Eugene. I also have a wager on Stanford plus nine. They, what, I don't know what has happened since I started recording because Stanford had the lead when I started recording. They're now down 13 to San Diego state, but hopefully they still cover. And I have a money line and a points bet on Eastern Washington as they are down two with nine minutes left to Washington. Come on, Eagles fly. They were- they were Fly. winning this game early Fly. in the second half, too. Let's go. They can win this. Uh, also, LSU is currently up 27 on Lamar. Wyoming and UTEP. UTEP's clinging to a three-point lead with 15 minutes left. St. Mary's. We have money on St. Mary's. They're only up seven. Still five minutes left in the first. Uh, South Dakota is up nine on San Diego. Did not expect to see that. Uh, Cal Poly up 11 on Omaha. Omaha. And UNLV up 11 on Hofstra currently. We still have Boise State, Washington State, which we're sweating out, and Portland, Hawaii, which have not tipped yet. Uh, we're sweating out that one as well. So a lot of action. We had to go early because I'm doing the other show. Uh, but game balls, let's fire away. I love, I, love, I love the late night games. Uh, game ball, we'll go to the first one. Let's go I-Dub. Get it done outright at Illinois Chicago. Uh, that's a game ball. Let's go. Wait, Definitely. Well that, is, that is a nice game ball there. Uh, I'm going to say UNC Asheville, you yeah. win double digit dog against a, another, your somewhat rivals, big win. App state hadn't lost in forever. A nice little fuck you in a resume builder. What happens if app state wins the Sun Belt? You're going to have that little, little coin, little chip, whatever. Fuck you. Yeah. Gonna say nice win for the Bulldogs. Who's your second game ball? Um, I, I, Let's go. Let's go New Hampshire at Rhode Island. That's a good win, Um, because they controlled that game. Big win on the road in a bye game. Well done, New Hampshire. Yeah, that is a good one, and I think the chat's accurate for this one. North Carolina A and T was a ten point dog. They win in Conway, South Carolina. Merry Christmas uh, to all those Aggie fans out there, like my friend Terrell Furman Jr. Uh, Third and final game ball. Where are you going? We got to go Norfolk State down in El Paso. Another one of these like puzzling games where back to back for both teams in a neutral site, they drilled the Jackrabbits, uh, who are the favorite, like Noah said, coming out of the summit. Norfolk State game ball. Yep. And my final game ball will be those Charleston Cougars because I did not think they even, I thought they would lose by double digits. I'll be honest. I don't, I, I just w- was not convinced that they're a good team. I took I took a step in the right direction to believing that they're legit as they beat the St. Joe's. What are they? The fucking Hawks? What are they again? Hawks, I forget. Yeah. Yeah. Uh those are the game balls, folks. Before uh we pick up uh pick the next slate of games here, I want to tell you that the college basketball experience is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Underdog Fantasy has a way to play alongside your favorite fantasy players all season long. They got NFL. They got NBA. They got NHL. They got college football. They got college basketball. Simply pick higher, lower, your favorite players, fantasy stats, and cash in. Noah Beanick has been writing great articles regarding underdog fantasy, and I, I highly encourage you to uh, 
check out underdog fantasy. I think you really will find shit. You will not find elsewhere. And Noah has been writing these great articles at sports podcast.com or on the SGPN app, which is free to download in the app store, and Google play store. Noah, what's up, man. I've had too many two and one articles this month. Um, but today's articles two and oh, uh, there's one more play that hasn't tipped off yet. It's Boise state against wa- wa- uh, Easter or against Washington state. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it was my favorite play of the article. So I'll be pissed if this goes two and one because I love this one. But I'm, I'm I'm advising you guys to jump in on it. Tyson Dagenhart, higher than 14 and a half points for Boise State. Um, he, he's been cashing these uh, for me the entire month. I think this is the fourth time I put him in the article. Uh, he's scored more than 14 and a half points in five straight games and in seven of the 10 games that he's played in so far this season. Opponents of Washington State are scoring 25.4% of their points from the charity stripe. That's 11th most in the nation. Dagan Hart shooting 77.7% from the free throw line. And he's gotten to the line 31 times in the last five games during his streak of scoring more than 14 and a half points. Uh, the second play, uh, because there's two games out tomorrow, I did find one that I like. Uh, make sure you check out the article for three full picks from t- tomorrow's entire slate. But I'm going to Georgetown's Jay Heath. Um, I like Marquette and a little bit of a blowout here against the Hoyas. Um, I'm going to take Heath's lower than 15 and a half points, rebounds and assists. Um, the lower than 15 and a half is three and one uh, when Georgetown plays against high major competition and it's eight and four on the season. So those are the two picks for the show here. That is great work, man. And you're going to, you can find stuff that you just don't see elsewhere when it comes to college basketball and college football. And I highly encourage you to check it out folks. So sign up with the promo code TCE SGPN on underdog fantasy and underdog will double your first deposit up to a hundred dollars. Once again, that's underdog fantasy promo code TCE SGPN. If you take a screenshot of you signing up, show it to me at the Colby D on Twitter and we're going to send you a shirt, brand new shirt, not out of my fucking laundry bin. All right. Brand new shirt in plastic and everything. You know what I mean? You're going to know that it wasn't uh, sitting on the ground. Uh, but what are you doing, folks? Get some new gear. Sign up for this shit. Get in a hundred extra dollars. I'm telling you, you're going to be thankful. So promo code TCE SGPN on underdog fantasy. All right. We are back. And by the way, Noah, it, don't ever try to pronounce his name. Degan hard. I, 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 Yes, I know we call him Dejan Hart. Sorry. Dejan Hart. I know. I, I said Dagan Hart. It's I'll argue Deegan this Hart to either. his fucking mom. All right. Let's go. <laughs> for for uh, what it's worth on the show last night, uh, we gave out Mc, Mackenzie and Baco lower than 13 and a half points. That hit. Never a doubt. That's 10 and 2 go. on the season this year. Uh, Baco Bell. That's his name. Baco Bell. There we go. There we go. It's a fine dining restaurant where Noah's from. Yeah, the, the, the um, restaurant where he got arrested. Yeah, shout out. Oh, that's Baco. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it went over my head for a second there. I, I kind uh, of thought. Tomorrow we got a game at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern. You know what that means, folks. You got to bet it. The Drexel Dragons are laying three and a half at Bryant at the Chase Athletic Center. Bring your membership. Smith Field, Rhode Island. Could be rocking their three and one at home. Both teams, seven wins. Oh man. Why is Drexel a three and a half point favorite? Yeah, is it, I, I is it because they're three and a half points better? Gimme the dragons minus three and a half, because I don't think anyone's gonna be at this game. I kind of like Bryant. Kind of like the home dog here. You guys, what you want to you do a little battle? We'll do a little battle. Give me Bryant. Let's go. Home dog. Well, well, I don't get home dog at 11 bang, 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 cold, but they're counting down seven, six, five. Where the fuck is my where's my theme music? Now we got a problem. Now we got a problem. We got a lock battle. Dundee flying with the dragons. Right, Bulldogs. Aren't they the Bulldogs? The Bulldogs, right? Yeah. They're the Bulldogs. Yeah. Uh, UMass Lowell is laying four and a half at Boston. A little in state battle. This Lowell team, 
I don't know what the fuck has happened to them because out the gate, we are high on them, but man, they've ate some shit lately. Yeah. Uh, losing to Merrimack, UMass, Central Connecticut State. I mean, I guess Merrimack and UMass aren't that bad. So maybe we should bet on UMass Lowell. I think I like I think I like Lowell better as well. Um, I think they're the better team and they're more desperate. But I hate that they're on the road here. Um, is anyone going to be at this game? Probably not. But UMass Lowell is so good at home. They finally had that win streak snap. But let's take them on a bounce back. I'm with you. Let's go UMass Lowell. Lock it up, right? Let's go. I'm yeah, locking let's, this. Yeah. yeah. Four and a half. Four and a half. The Riverhawks are gonna fly. Yes, fly high. The Catamounts of Vermont are laying five and a half against Travis Lexington Steel and the Miami Ohio Redhawks. What? This line stinks. Give me Vermont though. Um, I'll take Vermont. But yeah, no, this line, this line does reek. It is this game on on home campus. Yeah, no, it's it's in Oxford. Um, I'll take Vermont still. Reeks a little bit, right? Yeah, I mean, Miami of Ohio is god awful, but I still like. I'm, I'll still lay with Vermont. What do you got, Noah? Uh, I'm just saying, like, not really much of a travel spot at all. I, I expect Vermont just went from Toledo right over to Miami, so, Ohio, right over to Oxford. So, uh. JMU, the wagon known as JMU, <laughs> is heading to uh, Maryland to take on a team I was very high on last year, the Morgan State Bears. They're four and nine now, though. Baltimore, Maryland will be rocking. Morgan State won by seven the last time they played two years ago. Yep. JMU is laying 19 and a half points. Do you remember last time? The last year when they had the game right before Christmas break at Coppin State. We're going to lock this, right? Oh, I'm all over Morgan State. Lock it up. Let's go. I'm with you. Yeah. Morgan Morgan State plus 19 and a half. I actually think this could go to 20. So you might even want to wait a little bit. This is going to be a game. I mean, by that, I think Jamie's going to win by like 12. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's the, home, it's, it's the home dogs of the Miak and Swack. They've been good, man, at home. Yeah, Clark Townsend says shout out to the head coach of uh, of Morgan State, Kevin Brodus. Oh, there yeah. you go, Colby. I figured you might like this. That that's why I'm going to jump in here. The bowl game right now, USF currently leads 38-0. Syracuse, they're they're fighting some demons. Twenty nine rushes, zero yards. On the ground. well. If you listen to the college football experience, we were all over South Florida. That made no sense of why they were dogs. No sense yeah. at all. Easy fucking play. Played it on the money line too. Uh, moving along. Sienna is catching 13 and a half against Brown. No, nope. if there's one team that could fuck this up, it would be Brown, but I am not <laughs> betting this. Give me Brown. Yeah. I've, Sienna's on do not bet for me. And that says something. Uh, I think I might take take the points, but I'm not betting them again. <laughs> Brown could fuck this up. You're right. Sienna may win. <laughs> All right. You want one here? What do you got? That makes absolutely no sense. We know that the Milwaukee Panthers are ass, right? Yeah. So, so why is Chattanooga only a three and a half point favorite? Chattanooga is also coming off of a half court game winner. Yep. I think Milwaukee's winning this on the money line. Yeah. This is one of the more Courtney Lovey smelling games today. I love this uh, game. The cocktail yeah. napkins got this thing minus one for Milwaukee too. So it, it does smell. It reeks. Let's, Let's go, jump on these Panthers. You know, a lot of people go to college for seven years. Friends through eternity, loyalty. Milwaukee! Got to fade the half court shot. Got to fade the half court shot. Albany, the great danger catching 10 and a half in Tampa against South Florida. South Florida has been a hard team for me to get a gauge on this year, but I am laying the 10 and a half. What are you doing here? Yeah. Good try. Good luck trying to fucking figure out South Florida. Uh, 
I'll lay it as well. This, this is where we go. How does plus one seventy five money line sound? Who we got? George Mason's going to beat Tulane in New Orleans tomorrow. What's the number at? Four and a half. Ride the money line. I kind of like Tulane at home, though. I don't because I don't think anyone's going to be there. I watched the game the other day against Furman, and that shit was half empty. I think it's going to be even more empty. So let me show my Patriot pride. Start your fucking football program. Lock up George Mason. Ride the money line. Tony skin. Going to win it out right here. I'm staying out of this one. I'll take too late. I've been taking them at home. Usually (laughs) Fucking coward. Uh, Cornell is laying eight against Robert Morris. Uh, lock. <laughs> Can't lay eight with Cornell. Unless they're playing Seattle. Give me Bob yeah. Morris plus eight. What are you doing? I mean, here? yeah, Bob Morris has been kind of burning me, but I'm with you. I'm going to, I'm all over the points here. Lock up Bob Morris one more time. Uh, there we go. I'll give you your music. Double lock. Can someone find me the line on Bucknell and Merrimack? Because I am just not seeing it. Noah? Minus five, Merrimack. Merrimack I feel like we should lock up Merrimack minus five. Game is at Merrimack. I don't know. This kind of reeks. I think I might take Bucknell. Why, why is this slot line only five? Bucknell won by six last year. Oh yeah, I you know what I'll lay with Merrimack. I think they're better, um, and they're at home. But I'm not going to bet it. It reeks. Merrimack, uh, Merrimack three and zero at home. The only thing the uh, two wins against non D one competition, but the the one D one team that did go into Merrimack, UMass Lowell. They beat UMass Lowell at home by six. Stick around. I might be betting on these Warriors. Uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi is getting 22 and a half at Texas. I'll take the points. What are you doing here? Yeah, I, I think we definitely take the points. I mean, Texas is kind of, they do have the suit back. They don't really have a look at, but they're off the LSU game. Give me the points. No lock. <laughs> Drake is laying three and a half against UAB. This is a good game. This line reeks the fucking high heaven. UAB has been complete ass lately. Uh huh. Why is this line so short? Because they are going to beat them outright. They are. Drake's won what? Eight in a row. They're red hot. UAB home dog here. This was a. Uh, did these two teams play last year? I can't remember. No, they played Indiana State. It's going to be a hell of a game. Give me UAB outright. Lock it up. Got it. The line makes no sense. The line's saying, hey, Dundee. Hey, Mac, let's make a bunch of money. That's what it's saying. What's up, Noah? Drake's second true road game. The first one was Valpo. So throw that one out the window. Their first true road game here. North Florida's getting 17 at Georgia. Give me the points, even though I don't like this North Florida team. What are you doing here, Mac? They're fucking awful. Uh, Give me the points. Sleepy spot. Montana State is catching five and a half or six. I'm seeing six at more places than not against Cal State Northridge. Oh boy. I feel like this is some money line opportunity here. Northridge just beat UCLA. On the, you're on walking the, around town. Yeah. You know, you're going around, you're fucking whoever you see. You know what I mean? Like you're just you're just feeling good about life, not even showing up to class. Go into Jumbo's clown room in LA. You're just having a great fucking time. <laughs> um, Can we quit it with the clowns? You were on some clown roll on Sports Gambling Podcast too. <laughs> are you are you are you afraid of clowns too? I'm a clown hater. I I don't get the purpose of clowns. We got to bet this. Yeah, Montana State outright. I agree. They're a better program. I agree. Let's go. 
Elon is catching 17 at South Carolina. <laughs> I'll take the 17 at Elon. I don't think this place will be that packed tomorrow. I know the locks are flying, and I know Noah's terrified of clowns. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll take the points, but South Carolina has gotten by back to back. Maybe they do pop up for a blowout, but I, I'll lean to Elon. Too many lie. fucking points, man. Uh, Grambling is catching 25 and a half at the swamp. Florida's off a big win. I'll take the points, even though I don't feel great about it. Not betting this. What are you doing here? No. Yeah, I'll take the points. No bet. <laughs> Virgil in the chat says Noah's from Michigan and not an ICP fan. What do they call their fan base again? What do they call their like a, a word for their fan base? I'm drawing a blank on it, but I could see you as an I, an ICP fan, Noah. I don't even know who ICP is. Sorry. It burns when I pee. Wait. <laughs> yeah. How do you not know? Aren't they from Michigan? Right? I apologize In to anybody the, I'm offending, but the the <laughs> fabulous musically gifted insane clown posse. Oh. <laughs> I never heard of them. Yeah, uh, your life, your life, your life's better because of that. But chat's, chat's going nuts on uh, what is the? Uh, yeah, that's what it is. They have this big ass festival. I remember hearing this story from Redman about uh, doing that festival. Um, the entire chat knows, so maybe I'm out of the loop. That's what I'm saying, buddy. Look. I, I, I think he I don't think he's wants to admit it on camera. I, I was I was born in two thousand one. So uh, anybody that what's going on magnets, kill me. Dude. I'm young. Fucking magnets. How does how, how do they work? <laughs> my, one of my favorite one of my favorite there's a video that's so bad. Uh, where they're like I, I never let a scientist tell me shit. Fucking magnets, how do they work? Something okay, like that. I, I popped in here to say this: the, the Florida win was not. It's not a big win. It's not any. It's not. Yeah, different it's a than Jordan any other, classic. It's not different than any other win in their schedule. Wait, um, who are we talking about? Was, I'm sorry. Who are we talking was about? Florida Grambling. Max oh. said they're off the big win. That what was they a are big off win. of it, it's a normal win for Florida. It what means? No, it's nothing special. They're they. It was a double overtime game. And during the same, yeah. game. there are two it games, an, two days after the double overtime game. You it didn't was say an emotional that game. No. It was an emotional game. It's not it a was big a win. Hey. It was a showcase ESPN game. That's a big win. Yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, look, Mac and the chat, not Noah. Mac and the chat, not Noah. What are we setting the odds at that Noah in, now will show up to an insane clown posse? Uh, <laughs> Concert as a gigolo or whatever the fuck their names are. <laughs> well, I will say, we, well, we got three, four nights coming off here, so he's yeah. gonna have some more time on his hands. He doesn't have games to dive into. Maybe he takes up a second <laughs> career here over the next uh, seventy-two hours after uh, tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> I think Noah will be there uh, in the next. I'm I'm gonna set it at minus ten thousand that he will be at a concert. For the insane clown posse, and his face will probably be painted uh, in the next five years. Juggalo, Jiggalo, Juggalo, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> what are they called again? I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> if folks, if you don't know, <laughs> yeah, the chat is having a good time here. Yeah, You're enjoying this one. Yeah. Uh, where the hell am I at on this? Uh, Nichols is catching eight at Towson. Really? Does this line absolutely smell like Courtney Love? Nichols is catching eight at Towson. Um, what do you think it should be higher? I think or Nichols no, should, I mean, it should be like a three yeah, point spread. Uh, yeah. But I mean, Tal Towson's been playing better basketball. They did drop the double overtime game, but they beat UMass. They beat the hell out of UMBC. They're not very good, but the UMass win was good. Give me Towson. That was an emotional game for Nichols the other night. I think this line just makes no sense. So I think we have to take Towson. Yeah. Give me Towson. I agree. 
Nevada's taking on TCU. Do we have a line on this one yet? I don't think we have a line on this because they just played, right? Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Anyone got uh, a line on that? Shout out to Rob Donaldson, by the way, who's back. I don't see it. Okay. Well, uh, get the picks page, get the SGPN app. Let's go. Uh, e- uh, no, Queens is taking on Clemson, Clemson off a loss. Where the fuck is this line? Having a hard time tonight, losing uh, the 22. 22 points. Uh, That's a lot of points, man. I'll take the points. I will Clemson, too. Clemson wins by 19. Yeah. Give me Queens. I'm not locked in. They continue to burn me. SMU is laying five and a half at Murray State. Give me Murray. SMU just beat Florida State in Tallahassee. They got that Craig James blood money. Jordan I think Bush this is, is going around speaking on their behalf. <laughs> What's up? I think this is the one for Murray. I know. I know. I said that last time. Lost five in a row. Coming back home right before Christmas. I think Murray's going to get it done outright. SMU's an inconsistent team. This is one that I could see them dropping. Give me Murray locking up. I don't know if I'm going to join you on this, but Mac is locking up the racers of Murray State. Canisius. I'll, I'll oh, say this: up? like, I don't have the balls to bet it, but I don't know why the, the cocktail napkin spit out a number of only plus one for Murray State. So it agrees with like a Murray State even money line at home here against SMU. But I, I mean, Murray State—they've lost eight of their last nine games. I can't. This is the <laughs> one. This is the one. Yeah. By Canisius by. is catching six and a half at High Point. No one. No one takes down high point, but I'll take the six and a half because I feel like high points just do for a close game. Right? Yeah. I'll take the points here. Uh, you mentioned it. High points been fucking rolling teams uh, points. Maryland Eastern shore is catching 22 at VCU. Give me that all fucking day. Not locking it though. No. Yeah. I'm not locking it. Eastern shore burned my ass last time, but give me the points. Uh, Winthrop is catching eight and a half at Florida State. Give me the points. I don't think anyone's going to be at that game. They're having board meetings about leaving the ACC. Give me the points. Yeah, I'd probably leave with you here. Give me the points. Uh, where are we at here? Stetson is catching 19 at Cincinnati. Cincinnati's been drilling these shitty ass teams, I though. I know. Uh, I'm still taking the points. What are you doing here? <laughs> Give me Cincinnati. Southern Indiana's catching 17 at Southern Illinois. Seven. Oh wow. Lock. Yes. Southern Indiana all day. Well, well I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm tired, man. I've been knocking out episodes all day. Hitting the wrong shit everywhere. 17. Too many. You lose by 13. Just, yeah. The fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, lock that thing up. What do we got next? Uh, Mississippi Valley State. Hey, Noah. You want to you wanna see a dead body? <laughs> um, where the fuck is this line? Why do I not see this line right now? Did they play in Baylor? Yes. And I think we should bet every 37 and a half. We should bet on Baylor. Didn't they play last year? Yes. It was the first game of the season. They beat them by 55. Oh, they put up yeah. like 110 points. Yeah. They're going to win by a thousand lock up Baylor. It's off Always the Duke do. loss. It's before Christmas though. And like, the Michigan state loss. this dude, this is it. Uh, this will be the biggest. Duke. This will be the biggest spread we lay all year, but let's do it. Lay the 37 and a half with the Baylor Bears. I got the Horn of Lions, Tigers, and Bears. Mike Tyson. I'll tell you guys, the cocktail nap can spit out a 40 and a half here too. So <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's a it's a nice spot Final. off the two losses. I guess they blow them out here. It's gross. Friends through eternity, loyalty, honesty will stay together through. 
I'm going to keep this lock train going. Cause when I see Georgetown getting 17 points, I say, shut the fuck up. Georgetown's covering this. And I know Marquette lost. They're still covering this. Marquette wins by 14. Ed Cooley is a dog. Stanford didn't cover against San Diego state. You filthy horse. Uh, what are you doing? Here I'm with in this you. Story? I'm with yeah. you, man. This is Biggie's home dog. You know, you know, I'm all over this. Boy, it's, it's not a, not a home dog. dog. It's in Milwaukee. Not a home dog. Yeah. Oh shit. Um. I'm on Marquette. I, I, yeah, I man, have, I'm not lock. I'm not locking Georgetown. Then never mind. That's yeah, why I, I was like 17 and a half. I have, have the Golden battle? Eagles in a blowout here. Yeah. This no, is I'm not. Lockout. I'm not. Oh, you guys Lock are battling. Battle. I'm out of this one. Yeah. I'm battling. No one's gonna be at this game. I don't know about that. They've been showing up for Marquette so, games. <laughs> True, Mark uh, five and one at home on an eight, 18 point spread. Uh, they've covered this number in every home game except for that last game against St. Thomas. And the reason why they lost to Providence, they shot 29% from the field. This is just a nice bounce back game, just all the way through. Uh, Georgetown, <laughs> they've only played three road games so far this season. They lost by 11 at Rutgers. They beat Notre Dame in overtime and they lost by 10 at Butler. And that was. Uh, a much larger lead for most of that game. So I like Marquette. No, you just made my point for me. Uh, they've covered all three Marquette, not that much better than Rutgers, not that much better than Butler. And yes, let's fucking go. We got a battle. We got a fucking battle. What are we doing here? Did you just say Marquette's not that much better than uh, Rutgers? Yeah, I'm not buying in this Golden Eagle bullshit Marquette every year. They destroy Rutgers. shock a smart, great, great regular season, losing the second round to fucking Sonoma State. The fuck out of here with this <laughs> shit. I think right. Marquette's a top ten team in the country. I'm laying yeah, the points. They blow I them think, out here. I think you've had too much cough medicine tonight. Why don't you get the fuck away? All right? <laughs> I, I love right? Ed Cooley. Yeah. I, I think this yeah. is a blowout spot, buddy. Go to a, go to an insane clown posse concert. Help us. All right. Help it's us. it's a, three road games in a row right before Christmas. Georgetown doesn't want to be in Milwaukee. No, no, no. Fucking UMass has collapsed on us, guys. Uh, where the fuck am I at? We got to finish here because I got another show I got to do. Uh, Southern Indiana. No, I did this one. Temple and Old Dominion. We don't have a line yet, but uh, check the picks page. Yale is catching 16 at Kansas. Give me the points. What are you doing here? Yeah, I, I like Yale here too. Kansas, uh, Kansas will sleepwalk through these non-con games sometimes. They got Wichita on deck coming off Indiana. Give me Yale. Um, Alabama State's catching thirty at Auburn. <laughs> Lay it. <laughs> I think I think you're right. Lay it. Yeah. Uh, Marist is catching five and a half at Notre Dame. Give me Marist. I I wouldn't be surprised they won this because. No one's going to be at this game. I got to bet Notre Dame here. They saw the Citadel by 20. They've lost three but in a dude, row. This, C- they got to show up here. CJ Sullivan makes a great point. You know, he, he lived in Chicago for a long time and he's like, Notre Dame's alums, none of them are from South Bend or none of their fans, their students are from South Bend. They're all home. He's like, this is going to be 12 people at the fucking game. I, I know, I know, but I five and a half is, against Maris, like, come on, Notre Dame, let's go. I'll lock it. So for Colby's point, cocktail napkin likes Maris. It's actually minus two, and you're just getting a, a Notre Dame price on the open. Moneyline Mac is locking up the Irish, saying, I'm your leprechaun. However, I think this is a nice, uh, like, not nice, but Notre Dame's going to get up in this game because I don't know if you heard what Micah Shrewsbury said after the last game. Yeah, he called him out. Yeah, he called his team out like bad. He was like, if you're not going to show effort, I'm going to give you your transfer papers and I'm going to put your name into the transfer portal type shit. Uh, that well, was basically well, his rant. He better so, do that because think, but guess what? He's got a whole season. He's got yeah. a whole season. I'm going to lay the points with Notre Dame. No, Red Fox's cover. Sprinkle some on the money line. Not locking it up, though. Chicago State's catching 23 and a half at Wisconsin. Can they do it to two different Big Ten teams? <laughs> What's uh what's Wisconsin situation right here? Um, they got they got Big Ten play on deck. I think we got to take Chicago State, man. They're athletic. <laughs> I think they I think they can hang in this game. 
was my. I, I think they team. can too. I think they yeah. can too. Let's go. Chicago State. My team. My, they, look, I might. I'm telling you, they're trying to start a football program too. I'm just gonna go ahead and say this: Chicago State, you have my heart. I have a favorite team. It is Chicago State outside of ECU in Colorado. It is Chicago State. Let's go. Uh, New Mexico State's catching six and a half at Tulsa. Give me the points. They're live to win this thing. New Mexico State is playing better ever since they got the waivers for their guys. They can they 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 cover the six and a half. Sprinkle a little bit on the money line there. What are you doing here? Uh, this is a lock. Take New Mexico State. Way way too many points here. Let's go. What was happening with Ric Flair? What was that comment? Play that one back, Noah. What was that comment? Ric Flair, you better check his background. He alone away from racist. You, when you call it, when you're chilling. Wait, I'm not calling him racist. You're misunderstanding me. Colby, Colby reading that just <laughs> his mind is blown. <laughs> but is he saying that I was trying to say I was saying WWF was racist, not Ric Flair. No. I'm saying that was my point. It was that WWF with the Iron Sheik <laughs> and the British Bulldog and all that shit was racist. Not Ric Flair. Are you kidding me? Ric Flair's not. Yeah, Kobe's like, just, like the biggest Ric Flair fan out there. By yeah, the come on. What are you saying? All I'm saying is the characters at the time. It's a little bit over the top when you really think about it. It's a little, little. I, I was just a dumb little three year old fucking watching that shit. But I'm just saying. All right, Colby, my mistake yeah. showing the comment. Let's go. We're up against the time. Yeah, let's go. Uh, Ohio's laying three and a half against Austin P. Lock. Ohio. Ohio right? Ohio's first road game since November 11th. Austin P's playing really good ball right now. Really good ball. Hmm. Yeah, and they're back at home off the Western Kentucky. Yeah, I'm all over the governors here. Lock it up. That's those are you guys. No one's gonna be at this game. Uh, you guys can lock up Austin out, right. P. Bobcat shit out of here. I'm not Let's locking this down. thing. And if anything, I'm taking Ohio. All right. Austin P won against Murray State. They won against Southern Illinois. They had a one point loss against Western Kentucky. There's the last three games. I think it's a nice spot. Fresno State's catching eleven and a half at San Francisco. I'll lay it with San Francisco. I'm breaking my own rules. Because they beat Northern Arizona by a thousand points yesterday. Actually, you know what? No, I'm still laying it. What are you doing here? Eleven and a half. Uh, give me Fresno. Give me Fresno. Keep this thing close. Louisiana's at Rice. Rice is laying three and a half points. <laughs> I hate this game. Rice. <laughs> Rice keeps fucking everybody up. Louisiana money line. <laughs> this is it. Louisiana money line. I'm all rice. I keep, I'll keep back my guys. I'm locking up the Rage Occasions. I'm sick. I am so sick of this Rice Al team. <laughs> I'm not uh, betting it though. <laughs> Houston Christians catching 32 and a half at AM, Texas AM. Give this me the is points. The game that they dropped last year, if I remember correctly, to Walford. Uh, yeah, give me the points. Yeah. Middle Tennessee is catching three and a half at Southern Utah. Middle Tennessee sucks on the road. Give me Southern Utah. What are you doing here? You said three and a half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give me, give me the points. Malarmine just got waxed by Utah. Now they go to Provo. BYU's laying twenty six. Lay it. What? Ah. Uh, yeah. I'll probably. I'll take Malarmine. I'm not betting it. Illinois is at Missouri. Um, this game is neutral site in St. Louis. Oh, uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, Illinois is laying six and a half. Give me the points. I think Spring. I'm lo I'm locking Mizzou. Everybody's crowning yeah. Illinois. This is when you fade Illinois all over Missouri here. I think they have a chance to win this game outright. We tag us. Yes, yes, yes. I think I'm with you. Give me Mizzou. The Tigers have covered this match up the last five or six times, too. They get up for the rivalry. Yeah, they 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 bother Brad. Let's go. Lock it up. I'm in. 
I'm going to keep the lock train going because UCLA is only laying three against Maryland. UCLA bounces back, beats Maryland. It's a far ass trip. Welcome to Big Ten play. <laughs> Welcome to Big Ten play. Uh, you joining me on this, Mac? Absolutely. Uh, smash spot all over UCLA. Big Triple time. lock. Favorite Still play. locks are flowing. It's a small world when you've got unbelievable tits, right? Whoops. Uh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> You got one team that's just been skating by a lot of weak competition in Maryland, and then UCLA, they just hit rock bottom. Uh, And Mick Cronin's making comments about the Dodgers being able to get free agents instead of the Cincinnati Reds. Absolutely love this. I love it. Give me UCLA. (laughs) I love it too. And final game on the slate. I think I might still go to this game. Haven't purchased tickets yet. Want to give a a shout out to Dave Marino in the chat said, let him know if he's going to this game. I think I'm going to go, man. If you listen to this, hit me up because I'm not a hundred percent, but I'm like 80% sure. Uh, Colorado state's laying five and a half at Loyola Marymount and Kelly La Pepe. And I hate to do it to my boy. But Colorado State, didn't they just get drilled by St. Mary's? Um, I think they had a game in between there. Yeah, uh, they played CSU Pu- Pueblo, whoever the fuck that yeah. is. Uh, yeah, I know, I know him. Uh, <laughs> hey. I'm going to be there. Maybe. 80% sure I'm going to be there. I feel like it's a pretty good play. I think, I think Loyola is still a mess. They're kind of a mess. So I think Colorado state's going to fuck them up. What are you doing here? I'm going to go Loyola Marymount. I'll go with the home dog here. Okay. I'm betting. I'm betting on CSU folks. That is our show. Uh, I got to talk more. College let's, basketball. Bat- let's battle in that finale. Look, give me LMU. Let's go. Let's go. Finale. Give me LMU. Final. In one corner, picked on the run with the Colorado State Rams. While money line back says Kelly La Pepe gets it done. Uh, folks, not gonna go through all my locks. I'm live again in 15 minutes. 15 fucking minutes. My favorite play. I think I have to agree with Mac and company here. I actually think it's probably UCLA as my favorite play if I had to rank them. Um, but I, I got to be honest, there's a few that I like a lot, but I think probably the one that I like most, and we just lost Kent State. Um, and UMass. Did we hit E dub? Yeah. Money line? Um, I think they lost. They did lose. Okay. But yeah. damn it. I was hoping the money line hit. Uh, so yeah, folks, um, that's no, what is your top play? Me and Mac have UCLA, Maryland. That's honestly close to being mine as well. The only thing that like makes me not want to label that my number one is Maryland got smacked by them by 30 last year. Yeah. They could possibly want that one. And if they get up for it, UCLA brings nobody back from that team last year. And they'll be like, why the fuck are these guys so passionate about this game? What we to do to them? Um, but I, I, I like Marquette. I think it's an absolute blow against Georgetown. So give me the golden Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Justin Casey, shout out to him. He goes, come on, Dunn. You got a kid coming in a month. No way you're going to that game. Tickets are $6. Shop to you, drop customers. <laughs> All right. Uh, I know I'm pissing away my son's college money by catching a six dollar game, but let's be honest: if you're too nice to your kids, they end up all fucking losers. You know what I mean? So, get him. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to earn that shit himself. So, I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to each and every person here in the chat or anyone that's ever listened to us, even if you talk shit to us. Even that fucking idiot the other night. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. And uh, yeah, hope you guys, I, we appreciate you guys rocking with us. And uh, it's a lot of fun to come in here and work. And we're grateful for you guys. 
and we hope you have a wonderful holidays and we will be back uh, in a couple days because obviously we don't have games on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. There's like uh, that, that Hawaii tournament. That's just one game or two games. So we're just going to pick on the sheet uh, one day off. Yeah, this is, we didn't get this last year. Last year we had a rock cause we had a couple games, but uh, no, we have game Saturday. You're one day off here. Oh yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I'm t- sorry. T- we're back. We're, we're back tomorrow, tomorrow night. We're yeah, back tomorrow yeah. night. My apologies. Yeah. My apologies. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> I've been recording all day, so I'm all over the fucking place. Uh, we are back tomorrow and uh, shout out to the chat. Appreciate you guys, wherever you're rocking from Feliz Navidad to our Mexican friends there and our Latino yeah. friends that's Spanish, right? Uh, anyway, folks, we appreciate you. And uh, follow Moneyline Mac on Twitter at Moneyline underscore Mac. We are back tomorrow. And then we, we get a couple days off. I might have a few cocktails tomorrow, though, especially if I'm coming back from that game. Uh, give Noah Beanick a follow on Twitter at Noah B77 underscore. Make sure you send him all the insane clown posse content you can find. Um, tag him and all that shit. I am on Twitter at D. The College Basketball Experience is on Twitter at TCE on SGPN. Stay tuned. We're talking college basketball in like 10 minutes. So stay tuned. Don't even touch anything on YouTube. It's going to redirect you. The internet is going to hook you all up. All right. Get the SGPN app. Subscribe on YouTube, youtube.com slash the college experience. Until next time, folks, this is the college basketball experience. You better start thinking about yours. And we out of here. Oh, yeah. Ha. Oh. No, I'm L.O.B. Crooklyn, my brethren on the other side. Pay the smack, give a call, let them know I'm stepping on their turf so no misunderstand they come amongst us. Seminar, permission made the rule, who should live or die? And if I violate the code, I just might get found on a desolate road. But that just happens to a sneak thief. Me, I'm the chief of my conglomerate. Five deadly venoms, I promise this. Match a manpower, make the earth rain, hell, snow, and quake like bombs blowing up in Kuwait. And if a cat up on those seas, team, fuck my bitch ass a favor of the laws that send them out to slay red. I'm saying for the wig times, crime for time among thieves. These big pockets and sleeves lift the dip and get greased. The copper please, they freeze like rain in the breeze. The dead rather plug up. Scottish ass on the squeeze. Got you on the home base. Push your dates in shape. Better watch what you say. Cause dropping dimes don't pay. In a 10 cent city, yo, the lords don't play. It's the edge, the OC, the everlasting decay. Ain't nothing changed since the feds came. Still got me running fucking. Numbers 